It's a long way from Chengdu, a city in southwestern China with a population of about 8 million people, to Arlington, Vermont, with a population of less than 2,300. It's a journey that about 21 students from schools there made this summer, part of an international education program that Arlington Memorial High School took part in this year. Another group came in the first week of August from another part of China. Together, they ranged in age from about 11 to 16. They were part of a broader summer experience that will see them heading to other locations in the U.S. to get a direct look at American culture. We had a chance to talk with a few of the Chinese students while they were here in late July who gave us their reactions to Arlington and Bennington County and described the differences between going to school here and back home. Um, we want to um, improve our uh, English abilities or uh, practice our English and to learn more uh, America uh, culture. Um, maybe we can uh, enjoy ourselves uh, afternoon to play basketball or uh, um, eat some delicious food like uh, lobsters or something else. Yeah. And For me, I think it's okay, although it's a small town, but the size here is different from other large cities. We can see more trees, mountains, and other greens. So I think that's a good place for living and travel. Mm. And we spend evening in the host families, and we can do what we want to do, and maybe talk to the host families about uh, talk anything we want to talk about. Like sometimes we talk about the food, and the future, uh, and the future that Americans maybe become, or something else like, um, what they do and their jobs, and the reasons why they want to have um, to receive other international students to their home, and live with them for maybe a couple of weeks. That's very interesting to talk about them. And if the students in America, they are, they are very good at communicating and the teachers are very um, they are good at talk to talking to their students in China we the teachers will not understand us and um, they just give they just give us a mo lot of homework actually Chengdu is a it's not a big city as Beijing, Shanghai, Asnan, and they're not very same. And Chengdu, um, it's a very, has a long history. There's a place of interest called Dujiang Yan. It's uh, it's a irrigation project, and in about in a, at about 250 year, years before Christ, the the ancient built the project and protect Chengdu from being flood. It's a very great project. So what's it been like? Uh, what, what's, what's been your biggest surprise about, uh, about here? Uh, yeah. What's different from home? About, well, Vermont in, it's different from Chengdu and it's also a different lifestyle. Yeah, and, uh, a the, kind of um, uh, natural and uh, relaxing style. Yes, yeah. mm, more leisure, more relaxed and less homework. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the time with host family is the most interesting thing yeah. because you can talk with each other and know, uh, know, know other people's uh, culture and, uh, and our host families um, uh, and they can make good meals. Yeah, it's really delicious. And uh, uh, I really uh, enjoy myself when we are uh, we, uh, uh, with my friends, with our host family. We together uh, we went to that river and we play fun, play with water or play with uh, other like my friend Echo and we play uh, we play with each other. It's really good fun. Yeah. We also had a chance to talk with two of the Arlington teachers working in the summer program who gave us their reactions and takeaways from the other side of the teacher's desk. I've learned in these two weeks teaching, you know, English language learners from China um, after teaching you know, students from a couple different states in America, they're all teenagers and they're, they've got similar lives despite some of the cultural differences. So for them to kind of break those initial barriers of, of interaction on days one and two, before you know it, they're, they're 
they're sharing information with each other. They're talking about their lives. They're talking about their teenage issues, uh, regardless of whether they're from Chengdu, China, or Arlington, Vermont. In my opinion, because so far I'm still very limited at the American education system, but I think it's nice to combine those two education systems because I grew up in China and I finished colleges, college in China, and then I went to England for my master degree and I also finished another master degree in America. So I feel it's nice to combine because um, I have taught here for a year. This is my first year in high school and public high school because I feel American schools, they have more freedom for students to choose to focus on. And our education system, we emphasize the foundation. So in each subject, students have spent a lot of time uh, to build a very nice, solid foundation for their higher achievement. So if combine those two, that will be wonderful. That Dr. Louisa Millington is the curriculum director at the Battenkill Valley Supervisory Union and she said she was hoping to make student exchanges between local students and Chinese students a regular feature at Arlington. The exchange programs are managed through a Burlington-based organization known as Spiral International. Um, we want to start this relationship with Spiral International for um, exchanging students, so bringing Chinese students here in the summer and send our students to China. Uh, the possibility of having a sister school that will help us with the reciprocity and bringing in students for full semesters here, yeah, for a full semester. The uh, community and the families have been very supportive and uh, we will recruit more families and it's been so far a wonderful experience. One of the best results is that uh, Spiral International already offered two free trips to China for two of the students and that's incredible. As, far, as early as October this year, we can already send two students to China for free. For the Jeanette TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.